What is up everyone? I am Ryan speaking for the GDLR list list team and today I'm here with another support video. So in the previous video I explained how to calculate your points yourself but that process was a little bit suspect so this time I made my own calculator for you guys to use. This is much easier to use. So as it says right here follow the prompts on screen to use this tool. I'll be explaining in a little bit more detail than the prompts do about how to use this. So the first prompt is simply just a notification that tells you to open the inspect element tab and you can do that with control shift I. And in this console right here you'll see a bunch of notifications popping up and that is why you need to open this up. So once you open it, it gives you a list of things to do. You can add a level by typing in level progress by typing in progress. You can load up an existing player stats by typing in load. You can edit stuff that you've already entered by hitting enter, and if you hit cancel, it'll close the program like so. Let me go into each feature in a little bit more detail. So firstly, everything yes must has to be typed in lowercase. Let's start by adding a level. You can add any level on the list so long as it's on the list, and if you add a level that does not exist, it'll catch the error and make sure you don't do that. So let's say I want to add Artificial Ascent. Then you'll get a notification that tells you that the level's been added successfully. The, another feature is Progress. Here, you can add a progress of a level, so let's say I get... Um, Let's say I got some progress on the hell field. So first you type in the level name, and then you type in what percent you got on it. If you type in 100, it'll tell you that's too big. If it's all type in below the minimum percent, that's too small. So let's say I got 70 on it. Then it'll tell you, once again, that it's been added successfully. Now, if I hit cancel, you'll see that everything's been calculated properly. Next feature load. Now you can load up a player stats. Now be careful when you do this. Um, when you load up a player stats, the player... well first the player needs to exist. And then once you load up the stats, it'll erase anything you've added so far. So let me give you an example. Let's say you've added Artificial Ascent and the Hell Field like I just did. If you type in load and you load up a player stats, Artificial Ascent and the Hell Field will just and get replaced by whichever player stats you add. So you be, just be careful of that. So you need to type in a player that exists. Now occasionally you'll get an error like this, where it doesn't, even if the player does in fact exist, it won't tell you that the player exists. In a case like this, just refresh the page, and it should, it should work. And once again, it'll notify you that the player has been added successfully. Now, if you hit cancel, you'll notice that all of my stats are there. Now, something interesting I did with this is that you can add to or edit these stats. So let's say I beat Celestial Force. What I can do is, since the system has already saved my stats onto you, onto your device, now what you do is you can add stuff onto that. And it'll once again tell you that level has been added successfully. You can do this with progresses too, and you can also edit existing stats. So let's say I finally decide to beat Black Blizzard, then I would change the Black Blizzard progress to 100, and then once again it says percentage updated successfully. Now if I finish the program, you'll notice that Celestial Force and Black Blizzard have been updated. That's all for this calculator. I hope this is much easier to use than the Ruffle.it thing that I um, tried my best to explain, but that other system was terrible, I know it was, so I tried to make my own to make it better for you guys. And you can access this page by going to leaderboard, and it's this link right here. So that's how you access this calculator. Um, thank you for watching, I hope this was helpful, and uh, I'll see you later.